Okay, now, this is the first question in uh, deformation of solids. A mass of 200 kg is suspended from the lower end of a vertical rod of diameter 0.4 cm. The elastic limit is 1.4 exponent 8 Pascal. When the mass is removed, will the rod return to its original length? Assume that the cross section does not change. Okay, this one assume that the uh, cross section, cross section means the area does not change. Area remains constant all the time. Okay, so we have the mass suspended from the rod. Okay, this is the mass and uh, the diameter of the rod, elastic limit. Okay, what is elastic limit? Uh, so, elastic limit is, uh, you see, this one is a unit Pascal. Pascal is the unit for stress, uh, for stress. But elastic limit uh, means this one. You see this one? Uh, B uh, is a point B we learned before. The elastic limit. Uh, this is the point B is the elastic limit. So, uh, the stress limit, the st stress for this elastic limit. Uh, is given by 1.4 exponent 8. Uh, so 1.4 exponent 8 uh, is the this one lah. Yeah. 1.4 exponent 8. Uh, or the stress for that elastic limit is 1.4 exponent 8. Uh, so this question is asking that uh, when this mass 200 kilograms suspended from the rod, pulling the rod. Is the stress applied to the rod more than this elastic limit or less than this elastic limit? Uh, so that is what we want to investigate. If the stress applied is more than the elastic limit, uh, then the rod cannot return to original length. But if the stress applied is less than this elastic limit, uh, then it only undergoes the elastic deformation and surely it will return to original length. Okay? So let us uh, investigate this one. Okay, so we have the mass suspended. Uh, so it's something like this one. Okay, um, vertical rod. Uh, so this is the vertical rod. Okay, this is the vertical rod, and this is the mass applied uh, for 200 kilogram. Okay, and this is uh, 200 times gravity. Okay, uh, not moving, stationary, so acceleration is zero. So, the force exists in the rod is the tension. Uh, tension. Okay? So, um, yeah. So, I, this is the information given. We have the mass. We have the diameter of the rod. You know? Uh, and the elastic limit. Or we call the stress limit. This is 1.4 exponent 8. From diameter of the rod, we can get radius. Radius is divided by 2. 0.2. Centimeter must change to SI unit. Centi is negative 2. Okay. Um, uh, this is the rod actually. Yeah. This is the rod it mentioned. Uh, this is the rod actually. Uh, it's actually like a cylinder, you know. Uh, it's actually a little cylinder. Uh, hanging the mass. Okay. So, first of all, we can find the cross section area. Okay, cross sectional area because we have the diameter. Let's find out the cross sectional area of the rod. We need it. Um, okay, we find that there's a there's a radius. So let's find out the cross uh, the cross section area. So radius is zero point two exponent negative two square. Um, so what is the cross section area? One point two five six six exponent negative 5 meter square uh, that's a cross section area you know the the rod the rod uh, that's the cross section area we have found yeah it's a circle the circle uh, that's why we use pi r square circle section area now uh, we need to find the tension tension in the string okay tension in the string uh, which is also equal to um, 
because uh, this one is in equilibrium, no acceleration, so tension equal to mg. Okay, let's find out the tension. Uh, 200 kilogram times 9.81. So what's the tension in the wire? 1962 Newton. Okay, now we have found the tension, tension inside the rod. Okay, this tension is pulling on the rod. Okay, or uh, expanding the rod, the tension. So we can find the stress that exists inside the rod. Uh, okay, so the force, remember this one. The force that exists in the wire or the rod is always the tension. It's always the tension, not the, not the mass, uh, not the mg, it's the tension. Uh, okay? So, uh, it is tension over area. Uh, okay? So, 1962 divided by cross section area, 1.2566. Exponent negative 5. Okay? Or in SI unit, this one is Newton, this one is meter square. So, the answer I get is uh, 1.56 exponent 8. A newton per meter square or you can write pascal ah this is the stress this is the stress experienced by the um vertical rod uh, yeah this is the stress that experienced by the rod now okay due to this tension due to this tension okay because of this tension uh, this rod is under this stress this amount of stress Okay, tension divided by the cross section area, uh, pi r square. Uh, this this area. Okay, so tension divided by cross section area, pi r square. Uh, you get one point five six exponent eight newton per meter square or Pascal. Stress. This is the stress in the rod now. So, is the stress is this stress uh, over the elastic limit? The elastic limit, the stress limit, the elastic limit is uh, 1.4 exponent 8 Pascal. Oh, the stress experience is 1.56, but the limit is just 1.4. That means the limit now is 1.4, but the stress is um, the stress is 1.56 exponent 8 Pascal. Uh, the, this is the stress so the stress is above the limit uh, above the limit so uh, it is over the elastic limit over the elastic limit so it cannot return to original length it will undergo a plastic deformation it will undergo a plastic deformation because it's over the limit uh, so what i can write is uh, this one finally i i I discover that uh, this stress is more than the uh, limit. Yeah? Or I can write as more than the stress for elastic limit. Okay? Uh, so it exceeded the elastic limit. Uh, exceeded the elastic limit. So, uh, I must write down the value I got just now, 1.56 exponent 8 Pascal, more than the limit of one, only 1.4. It's more, more than. So that means when it's more than, uh, more than it, so it undergo uh, plastic deformation. So when you have plastic deformation, means rod will not will not will not return to original length uh, okay rod will not return to original length because of plastic deformation okay it's more than the elastic limit okay so when talking about elastic limit always we refer to the stress uh, for this case this is a 
uh, the limit limiting stress yeah and the stress for the elastic limit this is the limit means the elastic limit okay uh, i got the stress more than the elastic limit so uh, plastic deformation will not return to original length yeah the rod the rod will have permanent extension it will stay at the the shape after it extends it will stay at the shape yeah it will not return to original shape okay that's all for the first question so stay tuned for the next one yeah bye